So good evening, good evening ladies and gentlemen. We're here at the SSE Arena here in Belfast for the biggest country music event of the year. Tonight 8,000 people are in this arena all waiting to see Derek Ryan, Lisa McHugh, Robert Mazel, Marty Moan and Hugo Duncan. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this year's Farmer's Bash. Slip the clutch in the bug nose truck, I'm heading for the boat. Well, I never say goodbye to the woman this time, but I left for a no. Well, I'm up three steps in heaven, well, on the high with a hell, and I know it'll be a while before I say goodbye, cause I know you're looking well. Hey! It was just my luck to be given the truck with a naked of a load. And vice was in a hammer and adjustable spanner and a roaring V8 stove. The attack of graph was turning black as I passed the London eye. With one eye on the road and the other on the phone, took a selfie passing by. All chains and cranes and roads and lanes and slurry and money by the ton. Blow their hull like the three times and start to run their run. Hollywood and grub on the stubble dry tub as the road was rubbing the flaps. Well, it was a good laugh to a broke a half shaft and busted. Fifty dumb plus and forty foot behind Twenty four seven on the O and nine And baby, I'm coming back to you oh. Slip the clutch and the button No stop, I'm heading for the boat Well, I never say goodbye to the woman this time But I left for a note Well, I'm up three steps in heaven Well, on the high with a hell And I know it'll be a while before I say goodbye Cause I know you're looking well And legs and pipes and lights Go on the Delphi in Dublin City Like New York City at night Hauling for the council with airbikes bouncing The tipping ram still up Had to tip the load while well, still on the go Cause I hadn't got time to stop Hauling mail and grain of boats and trains And oil and bikes and drink And driving like hell to the self propel And hoping she don't sink If your luck runs out Come home on the bounce And get super hampton boots Buy a loaf and a Coat and 20 laps for the roof 50 dumb plus and 40 foot behind 24-7 on the O and 9 And baby, I'm coming back to you Slip the clutch and the button No stop, I'm heading for the boat Well, I never say goodbye to the woman this time But I left for a note Well, I'm up three steps in heaven Well, on the high with a hell Down the M1 when the limber diffused did melt When the woman rang and said sorry Tang But you know I met someone else With two chrome stacks rolling up the back On the bang flat out in top My only fear in a numb to steer Would it get her stopped at the dock Right so honey got the hammer to the floor And if that's your 20 that's a big 10-4 But baby I'm still coming back to you oh. Slip the lunch in the bun No stop I'm heading for the phone well, I never say goodbye to the woman this time But I left for the no. Well, I'm up three steps in heaven Well, I'm the high with the hell And I know it'll be a while before I say goodbye Cause I know you're looking well So here we are backstage once again at the SSE Arena here in Belfast for the Farmers Bash tonight. Marty Moan is here. How are you, sir? Not too bad, Robin. How are you? All good. I'm good. Are you looking forward to getting out there tonight? Oh, definitely. I'm over there doing a sound check down the buzz and atmosphere. Even if the empty uh, arena is unbelievable. So just with the full of people, it's, it's going to be just another another experience altogether, you know. It's going to be amazing. 8,000 people out there tonight. Yeah. When you do hit the diff, <laughs> the place is going to go mad. Yeah, well, I'm hoping that anyway. It's going to be amazing to see that amount of people going mad to, to, to the song. You know, it's two and a half years since I put it out. 
it. So to see, you know, to, to, I didn't think it'd even last two weeks, never mind two years. So to be here in the SSE arena is just great, you know. Well, that song has kind of become your anthem across the world, hasn't it, really? Oh, without a doubt. Like, I'm getting messages from everyone in the world, especially, well, especially in Irish bars, but even other, other, other people in other countries. And it, it is just, it keeps going, it keeps going. It's just, it's great, you know. It's just how the power of one song what it can do, you know. Of course, before the song came along, you had an ordinary job. You were just a digger driver, weren't you? That's right, driving lorries and diggers and that. I was always playing music and writing music. I was always putting a wee bit on YouTube and that, but I said then one day, I'm actually going to build a studio, write a song about me work and put it up because I knew people in that business. I said, just a laugh at it. And that's what, that's what happened. And then I put an album out with a lot of different other stuff. I slipped the clutch for the truckers now tonight, which should go down well with this kind of a crowd too. And then there is other songs, more different types of stuff, which, which at the Lake of the Farmer's Bash, a lot of people here, they're into the country, they're into that, but they are into other types of music, which I found on my CD when I put it out. I chanced that, I took it out, put different genres of music. So it's going to be good just to see how they take to it here tonight too, you know. So we're going to give it a go, I know, you know. So what about future plans? I know you're probably gigging all over the place. Is there a new album in the pipeline? Oh, there is. I'm working on one at the minute. It's the, as the saying goes, the skeleton of it's there. It's, it's there. It just has to be just really pushed to the to the boundaries to get it out. And I'm, listen, I'm not going to get it for Christmas, but I will in the new year early. And maybe a DVD. And I've a whole new band since last Christmas out on the road. So we're, we're really only getting up and going probably now. And so by Christmas, I'm hoping now in the new year, the first of January, we're already going to be hoping to be a whole new set. Yeah, CD, DVD, band, gigging a lot more even than we are now. We're doing a lot of gigs, but we're spending a lot more time at you know more yeah, recordings and trying to get the album finished and that. So it must be great to have your own studio because there's no pressure then, really, you is know, there? No, because uh, I seen getting to the bed at three o'clock in the morning and you just go, actually, I'm going to change that bassline or change that drum, and you just go in and switch it. You can't go to sleep until it's done. Change it and then you go to sleep. So it's great. Whereas when you go into, it's great that way. And then even if you need a hand the mixer or that, sometimes I mix it myself, sometimes I don't. It depends. But once you can do that recording, that that magic thing yeah. that you've won to get it so it's great yeah. oh that's a big a big uh, definitely a big part of getting that do you know so <laughs> what about the ideas from songs do they come during the night do they come when you're on the road or how does the song yeah, writing well, process it's kind of funny because i wrote a lot of songs when i was driving and last i think it was last year i sort of went full limit music but i went out i went back to it was actually uncles of the when i went back for a couple of days and one of the, it's actually a slow number on the album that I actually wrote. I wrote it while, a lot of it while I was actually driving for the two days of that summer. Right. So there's something about the driving or out in the road up there. No, I do a lot of driving, so I write a lot of songs when I'm going from gig to gig now. Yeah. It seems to, you just have time to think, you've not really much to do. You turn down the radio, start humming away a tune. And that's normally just, you know. But sometimes, if you're stuck for something, just at the spur of the moment, nearly finished the album, I need a song, and sometimes you just, you know, one of those songs, one of the, actually another one's doing well. I wrote it two days before I decided to put the, Really rough acoustic cover of it, and or really version of it, and next thing just it was it seems to be totally best selling song. So sometimes you can spend a long time like hit the day for spend a right wee while working on it, then the toward best selling one, and then there's actually one I just wrote it for the moment. So I've no real enemy yet. I don't know what's going to happen. So <laughs> I'm just hoping we're going to get something more. Like as I said, playing here the day if if you know I never thought, and even if it, if it didn't, but I hope to get more of this kind of that'll be just great getting spots like this. This is unbelievable playing such big crowds. So as I said, that's that's the that's the aim there. Once you set the bar, you have to aim aim for that all the time you know so no, we're getting near show time now so i'll oh, let yeah, you get yourself yeah. ready for the show does it take you a long time to prepare yourself backstage before a gig not really no 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 not um, i i sort of you always plan these things yeah. you plan i'm going to do this and i'm going to relax and i'm going to eat this and drink this and i'm going to do this and going to do that and a lot of times like today here we're just running about and the the, the buzz Sometimes it's just better to go with the flow. And so now, here I am, it's just going to be over in a flash. You're just one minute you're like setting up for two weeks, and then all of a sudden you're just a couple of minutes away from it. But that's the way I like it. Go out. <laughs> Sometimes it's not over a good thing to overthink it. I learned that a hard way. Yeah. Overthinking it, just go out, and whatever energy you get from the crowd, just go with that level and work with the crowd. If you work with the crowd, it's all about the crowd at the end of the day. So I'm hoping they're going to give me. And if they don't, I'm in trouble, but they should. <laughs> 8,000 people, I'm, I'm sure now, as, as you said, uh, especially farmers and hit the diff and all, it should work. So I'm hoping. Yeah. Marty, have a great gig tonight. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you.
So Andy, you've got uh, the new single out of the minute, and I yeah. believe already things are going really well for you. Yeah, um, uh, I, I uh, recorded some new music this year with Trey Shepard uh, from Zero Hour Studios in Coleraine, and um, I've just released uh, one of my uh, new songs. It's called House of Gold. It's, a cl it's actually a Hank Williams special. It's an old gospel classic too. Um, and so far, since Wednesday, it has uh, about 200 shares, and this into the many thousands of views at the minute so it's all going well so far it's great to see the music of hank williams living on were you a big fan yeah i mean uh, i love all the country singers so i do uh, although my past now uh, i was more into the, the dance and the trance scene and all that and uh, then uh, actually when i came out of all that um, i ended up actually coming into more of a a southern gospel scene with a trio um, from over here in County Antrim and then I started out my own here so uh, I do love uh, a lot of country songs and a lot of country artists uh, especially here tonight with Derek Ryan and Lisa McHugh as, uh, I'm going to be performing House of Gold tonight on stage today. so it's a, it's a great opportunity here you know so. in front of 8,000 people out there tonight are you going to be nervous when you walk on? Uh, probably uh, I would say I have to be honest now I might, I might be pretty nervous but uh, you know if I, you know, sure, I'm only human. We're only human, aren't we? Huh? So I believe it's been a bit of a struggle for you to get to this stage in your life. I mean, I believe things haven't always, haven't always run smoothly for you. No, uh, unfortunately, my life was uh, in, in ruination by, by drug abuse and alcohol abuse and just the, the, the party scene that, that has gripped so many young people today and their suicide and depression. That was me. That was my life. And... Uh, it has been a long uh, journey to come here to this stage. Um, uh, I had to battle a lot of um, problems and, and anxieties and issues. And it doesn't help sometimes when you're standing in front of uh, hundreds of people, you know, singing. But I enjoy it. I feel I'm called to do it. And uh, I know that the people will enjoy my new EP that's coming out uh, at the end of the month. Uh, especially all the some of the country classics, and I'm, I'm actually doing uh, "Ain't No Grave" by Johnny Cash as well. So um, when I see the reaction of people, um, it really encourages me, um, and especially I take pride in how far I've came from my past, from the drugs and uh, and depression and stuff. And uh, what what can I say? Um, it's, it's, uh, there's a big world out there. Let's let's go and get it. Like you know. Oh, brilliant. If people want to find out more information about you and about your music, how do they do that? Yeah, uh, my Facebook is uh, Andy Calderwood Music. Um, I have a new website actually uh, going to be coming out very shortly. It's www.andycalderwood.com. So as you can tell, I'm a North Antrim man, so my accent's a little bit more broader than yeah. most people's. But um, that's where you can find me. Um, so. Andy, thank you so much and the very best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.